And then uh, maybe I can get a six around here. Don't force wield the ramp. Nice. Okay. Yeah, with enough zealots, you can kill Archons. Very good sign. And also a good sign that this challenge might be possible. Now, I could cheese my way to Masters, and that does work, by the way. But that's not the most exciting strategy in the world. So in another one of my games, I settle for Drop Harass instead. And man, does it go well. Because it turns out, if you can just spend your money and attack in multiple locations, you'll already have all the tools you need to beat Diamond 2 players. But let's not stop there. I also want to beat Protoss. And since Zealots are notoriously bad attacking into defensive Protoss positions, I settled for something new yet again, dropping Zealots into my opponent's base to distract him and expanding a ton off the back of that. And even though he pushes scarily close to my main base, my superior economy eventually takes him out. And after a quick detour where we see Zealots beating Burrowed Roaches, I finish my placements and I'm already placed in Masters 3. But that's not really satisfying, is it? I've just been beating Diamond 2s and 1s, so let's see what Zealots only can do versus a true Masters player. So facing off against a Zerg in Masters 2, let's see if we can take out a player even better than ourselves with only one unit. I want to do the zealot only challenge. It begins, guys. All right. That'll cost more minerals than we zealot have. only. I'm not even allowed to make adepts at the start. Well, I, I can make an adept, but if I do, the challenge fails. Assuming this guy isn't rushing us, which he totally is. This is way too late of a hatchery. And he's not even trying to micro this drone much. Yeah. Oh, maybe he was trying to get a. Oh. And he pulls away, okay. Anyways, he's 100% rushing us. And he has a spawning pool finished, all right. Wonderful. The classic. Uh, now he's gonna see that we see his spawning pool and he's gonna have a very important choice to make. He's gonna either pump out lings or he's gonna just drone up. He's pumping out lings, get the zealot. Our probes are under attack. Anyways, we should be relatively fine. Uh, we have a fast expansion ourselves. Is this guy taking a gold? I'm kind of suspicious of him. I'm not going to lie. Is it just me or is this man a little bit sus? The fact that uh, everything was kind of so late and delayed. Okay, no gold there. I think he just took his third normally. Oh, we're good. We're set. Oh, he got through. He got through. It's fine. Zealot is more than enough to kill a couple lings. Alright, well, I guess those are his lings dead. Does he have a third? He doesn't. He's rushing us. <laughs> I think we can hold off a, a two base zerg rush. Oh, he's hard rushing us. That's hilarious. But we're spamming out zealots, which are actually just amazing against these early game rushes. We'll have a shield battery here. Is he baneling busting me? I think he is. All right, well, in that case, let's just get a pylon here. We'll space out these zealots. And then that should be enough to hold a bane bus. Either that is he's going for the euthermal ling drop. All are mildly terrifying, but not the worst. Okay, here we go. Okay, now he has ravagers. Okay. That's honestly kind of terrifying. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's a, it's a little bit terrifying. Oh, nice. We can get the battery overcharge out. I just need charge to finish. Oh, thank goodness for that battery overcharge. What the crap? Ouch. That's kind of painful. Still, though. <laughs> I think we can hold this with the zealot. Oof. Okay, we lose another zealot. Come on. Come on. I need those gateways to finish with the crap. I need another shield battery. No! No, I knew it was coming. I should have just gotten more shield batteries. What am I doing? Uh, let's see here. Okay, now we're still going to have charge done. We're still going to have charge done. And remember, this is basically an all-in, right? So, oh, man, that's so painful. We lost a lot there. Uh, we're going to have a wall back. We're going to have a decent amount of uh, decent amount of workers remaining. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, you know, I guess that one Ravager is kind of... Yeah, you can't really kill everything. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible out of 10. Oh, God. Okay, well, we have 13. Okay, we still have a decent amount of workers. 
enough minerals. We still have a decent amount of workers. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna win this? Oh man, this will be this will be pretty close. So he's obviously still spamming out lings. Um, I don't think he's going for. Oh come on! <laughs> Dang it! I thought I would get the I thought I would get the ravagers, or not the ravagers. I thought I would wall them in with the zealot warping. Then it would have been sick. Okay, let's get a zealot here and force him to uh force him to be stuck, right? So now he can't uh, now he can't escape. And then we're just gonna keep pumping out keep pumping out lings. I don't need any more gas. Unfortunately, I mined out a little bit too much gas, actually. Um, but here's the thing, right? I got a bunch of zealots. And he's probably droning up right now. I believe we can do a push out and get a bit of damage going. Roaches would be the scariest thing if he's spamming out roaches. Come on, no roaches. No roaches, big money. Okay, he just has a spine crawler. Okay, nice. He has a roach here. That's fine. Roaches can't really do much versus the charge. Oh my gosh, zealots are amazing. Zealots are amazing. He made a spore crawler because he thought I was doing something else. He has no drones at his expansion. Dang, this guy actually doesn't have anything. Wait, what does he have? Oh my gosh, are we going to do it? The mass zealot. Oh, okay, no, it's kind of... Okay, he's making lings now. Interesting. Uh, if he's spamming out lings, that's actually kind of fine. So I have a bigger economy than him for sure now. Um, I guess we just... Yeah, we just kind of... We just killed his base, right? And then he has nothing. He might go for a counterattack. That would be fine. I wish I had a forge with upgrades. I guess I'll do that in case the grind goes for a long amount of time. Yeah, but uh, he really... Oh, okay, we got Bane Lynx. Here we go. Whoop. Okay, good micro. Solid micro. Bane Lynx are hella expensive too. And he's not making any drones is, is the thing. So uh, we should just be able to outproduce him here. Because it's two base versus one base. He lost his queen. So he really can't do much. Uh, really can't do much there. All right. Micro. Nice. Get the shields on those guys back. Honestly, uh, I'll tank the Bane Links. Bane Links are so expensive, I don't think you can really do much. Uh, let's get our one attack upgrade. Nice. Yeah, and then he loses his Bane Links for, honestly, not too much damage. Oh, uh, kind of nasty. Eh, he holds it. He holds it, but I think we still have the economic lead. And we'll have more zealots in a second here. <laughs> yeah, I will say that hold at the front was pretty sick. Uh, probably could have done a little bit better. He probably could have done a lot more damage too, actually, but I'm kind of liking this. And the great thing about Zealots is that they trade really well, but they also, they also have a, uh, oh crap, we are supply blocked. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Zealots trade incredibly well, but they, uh, but they're also super duper cheap because, uh, oh man, it's hard to think. The Zealots trade super... Yeah, they're, they're really cheap compared to Stalkers. They're like half the price of Stalkers. So you really can't spam out like a million of them on uh, on even very low base. Okay, nice. This is this is the last of what he's got. You know, I'm just going to go straight for the drones. Because I believe he doesn't really have much else. And he GG's! Let's go! Whoa, what the crap? We beat a Masters one player with only Zealots. Amazing.